Let's find out how to use Adobe Premiere Rush in less than 10 minutes! This tutorial is recorded entirely in the vertical format or portrait format because that's how Adobe Premiere Rush works. My Rush is made for Samsung. Don't worry, it's gonna be the same. First, tap on the Rush application to open it up. Next, tap on the plus icon below to start a new project. Tap on Add Media. Select Videos. Scroll up your screen to look for the clips you want to edit. Select the clips one by one in the correct sequence. Then tap on Create. You will now see all the 9 clips on the timeline and up there is the preview monitor and down there is our toolbar. Put your finger on the timeline and swipe left or right slowly to view your clips. Press the play button below the preview monitor to watch and listen to your clips in the timeline. Press pause to stop the playback. This blue line here is your playhead or the current play indicator. Wherever the playhead is, is whatever you will see on the preview screen. Place two fingers on the timeline, pinch or unpinch to zoom in and out of our video clips to have a better look. I'm swiping to the left and realize that there's one clip that I didn't want, this one, and I want to delete this shot. How do I do it? Scroll over it till you see an orange or yellow outline over that clip and then scroll the toolbar below to the left and look for the bin icon. Tap on the bin icon and the clip will be deleted. Now what happens if you realize that you have it in the wrong sequence? You want this clip to appear before the other clip. What do you do? All you have to do is to tap on this clip, tap and hold, and then drag it across to this side, and then drop it. That's it. That's how to rearrange your clips. What if you realize that you missed out one clip that you wanted in this sequence? What do you do? You want to add that clip in between these two clips over here. All you have to do is to click on the plus sign and select media. You're back at your video gallery. Look for the clip that you want. Probably I'll pick the traffic light clip and then tap on add. Immediately it adds the traffic light clip between the two clips. Next, we are going to do a little bit of trimming. I'm going to bring my playhead to the beginning and then swipe it open with my fing two fingers and I'm going to play back this clip by, by tapping on the play button on top. Okay, press pause. Okay, I realize this clip is about four seconds long. I want to shorten it to two seconds. So I'm going to do some trimming. How to do trimming? Just put your finger on the left edge on the yellow border and bring it in. Let's say I'm going to trim the front and then you can also do it at the back. Put your finger tap and hold on the edge of the yellow border on the right hand side and drag it in. Now how do I know it's two seconds? Just swipe open your timeline. I can see the time here, two seconds. So let's play back, swipe it to the right and press the play button. 1000, 2000, change, yes. Okay, right now I'm going to trim and shorten the rest of the clips. Okay, right now I'm going to show you a 
split function. I just want two seconds of this clip and I want to split at the two second mark somewhere here and delete the rest. So how do I do split? Okay, if you look below your timeline, there is a scissors here. Tap on the scissors and the clip will be broken into two. I don't want the other rest, so all I have to do is to go down to the toolbar and select the dustbin icon. Tap on it. There, it's gone. Right now, I'm going to unplug my microphone and headset so that you can hear exactly what I'm editing. Next, I'm going to add music. So I will swipe my timeline to the right so that my playhead is at the beginning of my sequence because I want my music to play right from the beginning. So now let's click on the plus button to bring in our music. And then tap on media. Okay, we are still in the video gallery. So if you come up here, tap on the arrow, back arrow sign. Tap on audio. Tap on songs. These are some music that I have downloaded from YouTube audio library. Copyright free. Let's press play button to listen to the music. Tap on the checkbox here and then go down and tap on add. Right, immediately you see a new layer here. If I pinch it to see the overall view, I want the music to end at the same time as my video. Tap on the edge of the music and trim it down. Let's go to the beginning of our video and press the play button and listen. By the way, the volume of the original footage and the music track are adjusted by Premiere Rush automatically. If you want to override them and manually adjust the volumes or even completely remove the audio from the original clip, that will be in the next lesson. So click on the link below to access my ultimate beginner's guide to Adobe Premiere Rush. Next, we are going to add titles. Swipe your timeline to the position where the title is going to appear. So I want the title to appear right at the beginning, below, Tap on Titles, and then you will see several templates. I just want a simple title like this one, basic default title, which is not animated. Just tap on it. Immediately you will see the title clip appear above my video clip. So let's edit our title by going into the screen here. Tap on the word title, or rather double click, double tap. Then go to the keyboard and start typing in your title. I will call this video simply a city walk. The title by default is about five seconds long. If I could swipe and show you. Okay, by default it's about five seconds long. Let's do one more title at the ending. Or rather text here. Right, same thing, I'm going to use a simple text basic layout. I'm going to click on basic default title. It should be in the black area, so I'm going to swipe my sequence to the left. And then I'll go in here and double tap. I'll go to the keyboard now and type in my website, videolane.com. Let's bring the toolbar back into the main toolbar page by clicking on the back arrow button. Congratulations, you have completed the foundation on how to use Adobe Premiere Rush. But there's one more thing. Okay, you want to share the video that you have just edited. Go up there, tap on the share icon, and simply tap on export. Premiere Rush will start rendering the video it will take a few minutes and you'll find your completed video inside your camera roll or gallery. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe. This is Adrian Lee from videolane.com. See you in the next one.